All right, I want to do a first impression and review of this JK Mike J omnidirectional headset uh, for live presentation um, because I do a lot of lectures and I wanted a uh, kind of a microphone right in front of me, but I wanted it to sound better than like a gaming headset or something like that. So uh, I'm going to put this on here and switch over to this microphone so you can kind of hear uh, how this thing sounds. And uh, one one thing actually before I begin here, um, this cord is only about three feet long. It's meant to go to like a wireless transmitter. I have it plugged into my PC, so the cord's a little bit short. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of scoot over here uh, a little bit. And let me just pause this so I can turn it on. All right, so now we're on this headset microphone, <clears throat> and you can see this short cord is really kind of tugging tight over to my PC over here. But this is what this sounds like. And uh, the microphone I was recording on before was actually this Zoom H1, uh, which is kind of a general uh, handy recorder microphone. It's the most popular one that people use for really high quality audio. Um, it's kind of a one size fits all solution. Um, and so this is what this headset sounds like. So this it was what you would sound like at a live presentation. And um, for me, that's lecturing. But I think a lot of people like to use this for um, like live uh, videos where they're doing exercise videos or something where they're looking around a lot and they can't get away with a simple lav microphone um, just kind of right up in front of them. Because the problem with that live the the lavalier microphone is that it's here. So if you look around back and forth, then you're going to kind of have that audio drop off, which can be a little bit distracting. Um, and so it's nice to have this headset on. And so the, my goal uh, was that. And so I just wanted to compare the audio quality because they actually do sell um, a little wire thing like this uh, that you can actually just clip your lavalier microphone onto. So you don't actually have to buy a new microphone if you already have a lav mic. Um, I think Rode sells that. And so I'll try and flash that screen up here for you to, um, to look at. But uh, and so I, I'm going to compare it with this to see if I want to keep this headset or return it um, because I already have the JK lavalier microphone, which is great. All right, so let's switch over to that and see how it sounds uh, in the same spot. All right, so you can see that I have clipped this lavalier microphone on, so it's in the same spot as this uh, headset is, and um, now you can hear what this sounds like in comparison. Um, and I did this a little bit ago, and I think it actually sounded a little bit better, and so I might actually stick with this solution um, because I don't really care if it's black and people see it a little bit better. I don't know that the skin tone um, color of the, the omnidirectional headset uh, makes it any less conspicuous. And this is the case for that headset, um, if you want to see that. Uh, and I got off of Amazon, it was like $45. Um, and this lavalier microphone was like $30. Uh, and so, you know, I could just hook this up um, on a headset and I think it would sound great. And uh, one thing I will point out is that both of these had a bit of noise initially um, when I plugged them into my laptop. Uh, plugging them into my desktop, I have a professional audio card, so I don't deal with that electronic noise that you often get from like a, a built-in, you know, just audio port on your computer. Um, and so one of the solutions to that, and where did I put that here, is, is one of these USB audio interfaces that you can plug in to get rid of that. So um, that actually worked. The problem with this particular one, and I don't know uh, if it's this or, or if I got something defective, is that the microphone couldn't be slotted in the full depth. You had to kind of pull it out a little bit, and then it was kind of loosely dangling in there. And I think that partially that's because this is a TRS connection for the headset and a TS connection for the lavalier microphone. Um, but that's the way to get rid of that noise. If you have a background hiss, that's not actually the microphone's fault. That's actually your audio card, the electronic noise in your device. Um, and so you can fix that with one of these USB devices. Just make sure you get one that can take the, the proper input with the TRRS, you know, ring sleeve uh, connection. Um, all right, so now I want to switch over to my gaming headset so you can compare how that sounds uh, in case that was something else you were considering using. All right, so this is my gaming headset. This is a Razer Manowar. Um, Razer makes some of the best headset microphones as far as gaming headset and audio quality goes. And so this is probably about as good as you're going to get from a wireless uh, headset situation uh, and potentially even a wired one. You know, there's the mod mic and other solutions, but um, there's always that kind of just that headset sound. And I don't know why they can't just make this sound as good as just like a cheap $30 lavalier microphone, um, but it doesn't to my ears. Um, so this is what this sounds like. And now I want to compare this um, to my studio microphone. And this is the Neumann TLM uh, 102 microphone. Um, and so this is my normal uh, recording setup. Uh, I can have this, you know, relatively close in front of me, maybe four inches or so, you know, about a hand width. Uh, and I'm talking more or less directly into it. And so I think this gives me the best sound quality. You know, it's a much more deep, rich sound. It picks up those bass notes and everything else. 
Um, and if I'm not on camera, then I can talk directly into it. If I'm doing a podcast or, or something like that, you know, then I can have this thing right up in front of me and I can talk into it like this, which is, you know, really how these huge capsule microphones are designed, um, to really give you that deep, warm audio. Um, so I think, uh, hopefully you'll hear that this is a significant, you know, improvement in quality, but this is also a $700 microphone, um, compared to the, just that, you know, $45 headset or 30 five dollar lavalier microphone or even the zoom that we started this on um that zoom microphone i think is about 120 dollars for the new version the zoom h1n um and really that's the best one size fits all solution um but i really kind of wanted that headset so i could keep that microphone you know right next to my mouth um without having something in front of me in front of the display because i'm usually you know uh, moving around a bit drawing on my you know pen display and those types of things and so back to this um, Zoom microphone, just to compare, um, again, this is a Zoom uh, H1. It's got these kind of dual shotgun style microphones, and I just have this USB into my computer. Um, and uh, yeah, and so this one you can see works just as well as even like a $700 microphone with nearly the same audio quality for just a fraction of the price. Uh, it doesn't look quite as pretty, um, but yeah, if you want really great audio quality from... Um, from something at a great price point, the Zoom H1N, you know, handy recorder is really uh, one of the one of the best solutions. So, hopefully, that gives you a little bit of insight if you're considering purchasing that Mike J headset. Um, I think maybe just a lavalier microphone on on the road uh, kind of ear hangy thing. I don't know what that's called. The little headset adapter uh, probably going to be the best solution. You know, it's the same price, maybe a little bit better audio quality, but then not quite as discreet. Um, it's probably the only drawback. And uh, oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to comment on with that headset is that that three foot cord is really great if you want to go straight to a mic pack, but it's really actually limiting because you know if you need a few extra inches, then you have to have an adapter or something else. I really wish they would just lengthen that cord out a few more feet. I mean, it, it doesn't cost you anything to stuff a you know a little extra cord in your pocket. Um, so, all right, that's my feedback. And if you liked that video, hit subscribe, and I will see you soon.